folks. Here we are. We might be drunk. A little gin and soda to get things cooking. Ooh, a little early in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. Don't you hate it if it's 5 o'clock somewhere? I hate that I hate line. I that shit. I never got that Just, line. You have a drinking problem. How about that? Yeah. It doesn't sound as good. Yeah, I'm gonna We're not guy. well. Next time I blow a guy, I'm gay somewhere. <laughs> not here. I'm gay somewhere. I hate, I hate 5 o'clock somewhere. It's not clever. Get out of here. Yeah, he's a lady boy in Thailand. <laughs> Is he? I don't know what that means. Wait, what? Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> by the way, lady boys, they got usurped by trans. Yeah. I think they must be pissed. Like, and in Thailand, they're actually at odds with each other. Is that right? There's, there's a fight between them. There you go. Yeah. It's like uh, Netflix and Blockbuster. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the old one's got to oh, go. We know who won. Cockbuster. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the lady boy, <laughs> though, is like it's a little bit of both. You got a little both in there. That's true. Trans, it's like we've transitioned. Lady boy is like, I still got a little bit from the past. Good point. You're kind of bi. Yeah. And a pedophile. <laughs> now, here's is the it? other question. Oh, wait, are they a pedophile? Well, no, but you said boy. Oh, yeah. So I'm going, do you like young yeah. and a woman, boy? Mm. I'd go lady man if I was over that. I'd be like, I'd like a lady man. <laughs> I don't want a lady boy. What am I, a pedophile? <laughs> but that just sounds like a hermaphrodite. Oh, yeah. That was the thing. Remember there was the urban legend, Jamie Lee Curtis, hermaphrodite? Yeah, that's right. Definitely not true, but. No, not with that bud. She looked good. She definitely went the right way if she had to pick. Oh, my God. Would uh, not have been a good man. No, no. That true lies scene would have been ruined. Oof. Um, wait. Well, oh, yeah. Lady Hermaphrodite was uh, dick and vagina. Yeah. Yeah, like the VCR DVD combo. <laughs> little column A, little column B. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you find out the PS4 has Blu-ray, and you're like, oh. Oh, I sent Salak used this. <laughs> have you guys seen this controversy? What is this? Oh, this is hot. So these uh, cis gals who have only fans are putting... Okay dildos in their short shorts and they're appropriating and, yeah that's the and trans women yep. are calling them out saying like my gender is not your costume and then a bunch of women chimed in they're like neither is mine oh so it's getting dicey on the old interwebs either way i came quick yeah what <laughs> what's <laughs> what's the purpose of the photo? well they, they cleaned up they made a ton of money because apparently there's a market for this interesting cock market <laughs> like the stock market? Okay. Oh, the cock market it. is up. I mean, that is... So, so they're just like fake penises in there? Yeah, it's like a cucumber or something. Jesus Christ. Well, Sam's distracted either way, but... Uh, I mean, it's just a lot to take in. Sam yeah. quiet. I sent yeah. it to, to Shane, and he was like, I don't know how to feel. I'm like kind of into it. <laughs> and then we all went, really? Because it was a big group chat. And he was like, no, no. So, <laughs> I'm, like, yeah, I'm going to leak that. Damn, that is fucking... Enter the world's a weird place. These it's days. a wacky time, folks. The president or ex president was shot in the head. Biden's on the beach. Kamala's Indian and black. I don't know what's going on. JD well, Vance fucked a couch. <laughs> no, you nailed it all. You know what's going on. That's all the right. thing, too. It's like you think about what was like taboo even 15 years ago. Like, can you imagine your dad find a DVD? Stepsister porn. <laughs> We're gonna, true. we'll have kids someday and we, you know, we'll be like, you know, chicks with dicks. Yeah. What the fuck is this shit? Right. And then in 10 more years, it's like farmhouse pal pals, you know, yeah. now you're fucking animals. <laughs> My wife made a good point. We were, we're getting into wife swap, not the thing, the show. Oh, okay. The old show. Like, Holy shit, you guys are really going for it. <laughs> yeah. You there's a, there's, there's a, the crazy Norman drop every week. We're having a baby <laughs> the next week. We're fucking our neighbors. <laughs> Uh, but she made a good point. We're watching this. It's a great show. It's like it's it's sociology. It's like really interesting human nature stuff because two families think they're doing it right, and then you flip, and they're like ideologies are all torn apart. Like the old school Chappelle. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But where are you going? Ah, oh, shit. Sandwich that was here. the fattest uh, answer I've ever heard. He <laughs> <laughs> um, said it all sad. Too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he didn't feel good about that. But my point is, A, she was like, the middle class is gone. The whole show is middle class. It's like people with four kids and some guy works at a, at a factory and he's got four kids and a giant house and two cars. That's over. And then two, there's a lot of like uh, religious stuff and race stuff. And like now it would all be like, hey, this is, a, this is not a safe space. I'm offended. This is problematic. It, there's none of that. They're like, fuck you, bitch. I'll kill you. It's just people shitting on each other and ball busting and yelling at each other. And there's zero identity politics or like. It's just people who hate each other for them. Exactly. It's refreshing. 
Now everything's got to be like, hey, don't insult my people, or that's against my... We're kind of post race almost now oh 100%. and post you know it's like for everyone saying like i this is how i am this is how i identify most people don't give a fuck no most people will will get to know you and hate you for who you are a hundred percent and they're okay with that yeah yeah and it's you know or they'll get to know you and love you for who you are but but like i'm with you dude it's like no one cares no one really cares only you care right right That's, it's like you do a thing like well this is who i am it's like Okay, well, you know who cares about that? People who care about you. Exactly. If I don't know you, I don't care about you, so yeah. I don't give a fuck. I know, like, as a woman, as a BIPOC, and you're like, I don't give a shit about that. And they're like, but you don't know how I feel. I'm like, but you don't know how I feel. Like, you're a different human being than me. We, yeah. you get out of here. But Your the, feelings are more important than mine, and mine aren't more important than yours. And I thought the whole point was to be equal. I thought that's what we were going for, was to be a colorless society. I think if Martin Luther King had his dream today, it would be, I have a dream, no one cares. Yeah. 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 We'd and never get true. to it. Yeah. yeah. A dream. What, yeah. Why would I care about your dream, dude? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Was no I in the dream? dream? No, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already tuning you out, dude. There was a man with no face, and I was on a cliff <laughs> in, in, in my old yeah, hockey jersey, care. and you're like, shut up, who cares, move on. Is there sex? Get to the sex. Yeah, sex dream I'll listen to, especially if I'm in the sex dream. Yeah, that Especially if that best. chick with the dick is talking about <laughs> sex dream. I'm in it. Talk about it. Remember those days when a girl in high school would be like, I had a weird dream about you, and you were like, I know. What happened? That was how bad we were at flirting. Yes. That was like how you feel it out. We thought that was subtle. Uh, yeah. You yeah. were in my dream the other night. They're like, all right, just fucking get to it. Oh, uh, yeah. And I had such low self-esteem. They're like, hey, I think Christy likes you. I'm like, nah, she hates me. And they're like, dude, she had a dream about you. And I was like, nah, shut up. I know. If a guy says it, it doesn't sound as good. No. You were in my dream the other night. Oh, my God. Yeah. I need a restraining order. Yeah. You got to stop taking Ambien. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mazel. Thank you, Peters. Whew, oh chicks my with God. Dicks. We're going out early. Felt fucking bad about that birthday party, guys. That was mm. brutal. Oh, tell us about your dinner. Oh, we got to talk we, about this really, that dinner. Was, I mean, can we all blame Gary for that? Yes. Because I wanted to leave the second we got there. Well, set the table. That's true. No pun okay. intended. So, Gary Veter, uh, one of my best friends in the world. You guys know, and one of your best as well. Yeah, great guy. Well, first guy I ever met in comedy. We've had him on the show. Friend of the show. Killer comedy. He, he tours with me on the road every week. And his hit thing on uh, the road, if you don't know Gary, is like, I want every meal to be a home run. Not just good, but he's like, we're eating at the best place in the city. Now, the best place isn't always the most expensive, thank God, but it often is. True. And <laughs> Gary has hurt my wallet in the past. Oh, yeah. Because he'll be like, this place is great. And you get to the restaurant. He's like, it's supposed to be great. And you're like, oh, cool. $67 uh, entrees. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, right. And then he's like, it's, it's good fish. And you're like, oh, <laughs> fucking prick. But that's like, you know, many days in a row we eat well because that's it's important to him and it's become a thing on the road. Yeah. Know? And Gary goes, We're eating at this place, Emilio's Bellato on Houston. And uh This is Primo Dago Grub. It is and it isn't. I thought well, it was good food, but it also was like there's better shit in it. I agree. I mean reputation wise, I mean, like it's yeah. hard to get a table, it's a lot of, of celebrities. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Uh you know, and we didn't have a slouch table either. We had a lot of no. good people there. You got but... except for Salicuse. We were killing. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we roll in there, and already I'm kind of like, let's just go. The vibe was bad. The waiter was a prick. Huge prick. He was a huge prick. Like, we, we get there. He's like, you can get here when everyone's seated. And we're like, all right, well, it's 15 people. So yeah. We just, for 13, we can't see. He's like, it's got to be all 15. And we're I like, love that. all right, yeah. It's like, is someone going to be using the table? We're ordering drinks in this time, yeah. right? Right. But uh, he was being a prick, and I was kind of like, you know what? Let's just, he was, it wasn't just what he was saying, it was the way he was saying it. Yep. He was kind of a trash bag. A bit of a dumb wop. And he gave me this one. I go, hey, I'm just checking in for a big reservation. He goes, how many? I go, 15. He goes, whoa, we'll see about that. Yeah, like, it was that type of, like, we're like, oh, cool. This fucking guy is the waiter right here. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, Holy like, fucking no nuts. <laughs> this is what a reservation is. Yeah. We're here. We're here to eat. We called ahead to, for this exact reason. Like, well, well, we'll see. I'm oh, like, it's, it's the Seinfeld episode. I know you know how to take the reservation. Yeah. It's the keeping of the reservation. <laughs> exactly. You have a problem. So already he was a dick and he was a, he was a dick to mark he's a dick to me and it was a thing where i was kind of like you know what fuck this place so i said i say let's get out of here uh, multiple times you did my girlfriend's giving me shit she goes you always do this i go no but i'm i'm i have no problem saying fuck this shit and yeah. walking i want to walk whatever I, walk. Say, I say let's go to arturo's it's a few blocks away arturo's always treats you well great pizza love it on houston uh they got gary gary's like but I, you know this is special gary's kind of yeah. like this is special i made this and it's like all right i get it i i understand let's go here and he put the work in 
He put the work. It's hard to call every comic and set it up. And, and I'm grateful for it. And I love you, Gary. I do. But I re- I got a really bad vibe out of the gate. Yeah. We go in there. They're just like, you know, we'll bring. How about we just bring out a lot of stuff? Yeah. It was another. Where Gary fucked up. He goes, blank. Bring the hits. He said, bring the hits. <laughs> yeah, which said, they go they jackpot. Said, you want to see a menu? He said, you want to see a menu? And Gary said, no, just play the hits. But you Big know, when mistake. someone when someone says that. It doesn't say bring out so much shit that you're going to rape. Or, they turned it into like a prefix where they charge us like over 300 yeah, a person. Yeah, yeah. And we had people popping in and out. So That's now, true. So now you have a person pop in and just leave. A guy didn't eat is going to get charged. Well, I won't spoil it, but he'll get oh, charged. And so, Ronan is poor. <laughs> <laughs> There's other factors here. Ronan's poor. Will Savince is living in a, a tent. Uh, uh, <laughs> Under a highway. Yeah. Lead, yeah leading the Cuban revolution. <laughs> <laughs> with that beard yeah uh and no it's it's a disaster and the food was solid the food was pretty good but it's noodle it wasn't yeah it wasn't that good it wasn't that fucking good yeah. and the guy was by the way the waiter's cursing nonstop, which i know we yeah. curse but we're comedians it's weird to be in like a family restaurant a guy's True. like yeah get the fucking uh, thing i'm yeah. like what, what is this yeah, also he, he threatened he, to oh god he almost got whacked he i mean he almost to took me him out, out in the back pictures he's like i'm gonna throw you out of here yeah so he's in the flash he was like no flash in here yeah yeah. And then you kept flashing, of yeah, course. Yeah, of course I can do yeah. But, uh, yeah, you almost got thrown out. And then you had, Salad Excuse had to talk to a man who mano a mano. Remember that? You had to I go take him to the back. to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to burn this fucking place down like Vesuvius. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got a bad attitude. I think it's that New York, like, Or Italian Is that the one? Oh, no. Which is the one they burned down? It was oh. Vesuvios, right? I don't know. Looking it up. Well, I got to get the fucking Sopranos trivia right. But oh, they meant anyway, that. they bring the check, Good. and I've, and Vitor won't let me fucking pay. He won't right. let me chip in. And it's over it's over five grand. Fifty two hundo. There's the bill. To be exact. So they just gave us like a prefix per person without consulting us. Yeah. And the food was fine. It was fine. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. Yeah. And it was what's fine. His, what's his face? Lebatard over here. Lebatardo. He got a sixty-five dollar cocktail. How do you get a sixty-five dollar cocktail? Because he got the uh that good tequila with the bell on it. Whatever that shit is. Um uh, Clas Azul. <laughs> Plaza Azul is no joke. A bottle of that's like nine hundred dollars. Well, he's done pretty well in his life. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's don't tell v- Vitor's going to be furious. <laughs> but so yeah. I felt bad, so I put a card. Well, down. I was I was fucking embarrassed. I was like, I don't want to fucking you know, with the yeah. Vitor's not letting me put in. I was like, Jesus, what I the get fuck it. have you done, dude? I get it. But doing yeah. quick math, I'm sure Vitor will make me pay for this shit next tour. Yeah, well, it, it's good that he paid because he owes you for all the years of of your restaurants that you went to, and he picked this fucking joint. But I was, I was like, fuck, you don't, you pick the, you get Arturo's you know, with the big group. I was, but I thought they were just going to bring out a bunch of things and it would be reasonable, but it wasn't. No, and a steakhouse and, wouldn't charge you this much. No, steakhouse, um, one steak is ninety five at the mo at a top shelf place. Yeah, and this place added a twenty five percent tip. Look at that, $983 tip. God, for getting yelled at. Yeah. This guy's like, oh, suck my fucking beanbag. And he's like, that'll be uh, $900. Yeah, exactly. I gave you the suck my beanbag special, we fucking got, trash bag. We got screwed. These guineas raked us over the coals all day long. I, we, we had a good case until Mark broke out the slurs. I was like, I, was like, I think we're going to get a try behind us. And Mark's like, these wop fucking dagos. I'm like, wait, slow down. Let's. Uh, what's the guy from Sopranos? A Frankie? I feel like that stripper he took out back and beat the shit out of him until she Ralph died. Ralph Cifaretto? Yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm the stripper. Ralph clocked me around and except beat the, me up. the baby you're carrying was Vitor. <laughs> God damn it. I want to fuck that host with a gun to his head like uh, Richie. <laughs> Richie April. So it was $346 a head. That's fucked up. Because we crazy. didn't get that much. No. No. I, I, I took a few veal legs home. Did you? Yeah, I put those right in my pocket because I was like, I I dropped seventeen fifty five on the whole thing. Your poor lady had to drop seventeen fifty five, and then Veter put seventeen. I love you guys. I owe you. I owe you big time. By the way, and, and, I don't mean to rat out your girl, but yeah. she did a fucking gangster move at the end. Oh, it's pretty funny. Oh yeah, I missed. So that. she was like, I'm paying what? And she saw what she had to pay. She signed her name, and she immediately opened her purse. Took out three saucers from the table, just three plates. Yeah. Shoved them in her purse sideways and I'm, left. No way. Hey. I, I've been drinking coffee off him every morning. Well, that's a keeper. That's marriage <laughs> nice material. Little, nice little uh, memory. Man. But uh, I no, love that. that was a fucking. I mean, look, it was a fun ass dinner. I it was so fun. Well, the next time we'll do our turtles, we'll do something that's not stupid. Yeah, right. It was fucking insane. Chick fil A. Uh, 
Yeah. Next year. Raising canes. Yeah. That Vita, Vita, Vita. Oh, that's fun. I mean, look at these beauties. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's great. That's great. By the way, trying to get money out of Will, not easy. Damn. I'm going to have to pay him extra. when I'm going to have to like slide in money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are great. Classic. Ari showing up with, yeah, it's good oh, stuff. Oh, that's great. Does Will make it a black joke? Yeah, Will's gift, a, a book on white privilege. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That was right before the 9-11 attack. We're all having a good time. <laughs> then the towers hit when that bill showed up. It is it is terrorist behavior to just sneak attack you like that in a bill. Completely. It is. And you can't you can't refute it. You can't be like, whoa, how'd we get to that? Because they're like, you said the hits. They got us by the balls. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Veter. Veter. There he is, that. Fucking rat! Look at him. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta whack him. <laughs> but no, thank you. It's a, it's a thankless, thankless job to put all of us together like I love that. You, Gary. And then he, then he, not only did he get fucked with the bill, but now we all hate him. I'm gonna. I'm, oh. this, this next bus run is gonna be torture on my wallet. I know that we're gonna be stopping in places where I'm like, fuck. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you got to put the, the the foot down at some point. Like, tonight, Wendy's. I do sometimes. Fuck you. Tomorrow, we're going to uh When he starts to be a dick on the road, when he starts to get in the mood or something, I'm like, we're doing fucking, we're doing Ranch One for dinner, but <laughs> Got a good chicken sandwich. Ranch one. I'll fucking, I'll hit him every once in a while with, ah, yeah. Ranch One. Do you remember Pluck You? Yes, yeah. Pluck You. Pluck You. Yeah, we're going to- I kind of like, I liked Ranch One. That fucking, yeah. that, that chicken sandwich, not too bad. Yeah. A little roasted red pepper sauce, just mayo, but it was good. Yeah, that was good. I love when they try to get high flute with the sauce. Subway did that. They're like, hey, we got Chipotle. And you're like, this is pink mayo. This is mayo with like a green thing. It was kind of good, though. I loved it. Dude, Subway feels like is just like, Subway feels like a chick that was like a really hot freshman that showed up like senior year and is just disgusting. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck happened to Subway? I know. His friend Joe List got a sandwich. His friend? Where our friend. Yeah, he's my buddy. <laughs> our friend. Yeah. Well, he told him the story. Oh, okay. He told Mark the story. He said that he went to a uh, Subway, ordered a foot long, ordered double meat. Ooh. $21. Really? Yeah. 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 The prices are up, baby. 21 Isn't their whole thing $5 foot long? That was That's back in the over. day. How That's long has that over. been over for? $21. We looked it up. It was uh, 2011 was when they stopped doing that campaign. Whoa. Wow. Right? We're fucking old. Damn! <laughs> you, I'm literally walking. I'll take one five dollar foot long. <laughs> like, what are you fucking eighty? Seventeen years ago, sir. <laughs> I got that every day for like three years. We're, that was on 2011. Wow. I remember when a one foot sandwich used to cost five dollars <laughs> in my day. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> grandpa, dude. Yeah, yeah. They're like, dude, shut the fuck up. Wow. Subway sucks. It's gotten it so sucks. bad. I used to eat it all the time. It's gotten Same. so fucking bad. Yeah, and it. The, somebody told me I had a friend who worked there. He's like, it's all the same meat. Yeah, so of course. Buckle up, like the the meatballs, the turkey, the crab, the tuna's dolphin. Oh, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> the real Protein. animal. I'll They're take slaughtering that. some fucking poor animal in Taiji. They're like, enjoy this. It's uh, three thousand grams of sodium. It'll fucking kill you. Yeah, and I heard the uh, the turkey is yoga mat. Did you? Yes. Hear that? I no, the the, uh, the bread. Oh, the bread. The bread is yoga mat. Yeah. yeah. I smell some downward dog cooch on my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> what, uh, yeah, who's, uh, someone had the thing. I went to an Indian restaurant the other day. It was a uh, Subway. <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> The guy, whose joke was that? I think that might have been, was that Gaff? He had a whole Subway chunk. It might have been Gaff again. M- it might have been Patton. It might have been Pat. He had another Sean chunk. Patton. They had, a, they had a competing Subway chunk going on. Yeah. Uh, but Gaffigan had a whole thing, like, just based on the name. Subway, does that make you want to eat sandwiches? The Subway, the homeless, the tunnels, the mole people, the he, rats? He said the uh, the turkey, they're, like, stingy with it, like it's money. They're like, all right, here's one, here's uh, another, yeah. the little slices. How about a tells joke? He's like, I went in the Subway, the guy put the gloves on, he goes, nah, raw dog it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. That's such a good joke, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. God damn. Now... If we're we're riding the uh, the gossip train. Choo choo. I want to hear about Kill Tony with Chad Daniels. And the Uh-oh. whole internet's yeah. a what, buzz. What, what are they saying? Well, Chad like had a had a 
altercation with a handicapped guy, and then he went at it with, it with uh, a handicapped guy. With, uh, I, no, he had it with hair. William Montgomery, that guy. I heard there was some handicap in there at first. Who was the handicapped guy? He had a thing with the handicapped guy. Goes, oh, I was driving here the other day, and he goes, "You drive?" And the guy was like, "Yeah, you don't think I can drive?" Oh, he was Shit. joking. The oh, okay. driver guy was joking. Two point five million views. Yeah, this is a big show. Two uh, weeks ago. Yeah, no, I remember the one. Um, the William Montgomery one, I got shit for walking off, and people were like, oh, you couldn't ha-. Someone was, like, messaging me. I had a few people, like, oh, you couldn't handle a smoke or something? Oh. He was yelling. I'm like, it was, like, two and a half hours into a show where they were serving me vodka so- or whiskey sodas by the pint glass. Right. Oh, Maybe yeah. I have to pee at some point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it was, like, literally the point where I, I just whispered to Tony. I'm like, dude, I really got to fucking pee. I've been holding it for, like, 30 minutes. I didn't. It's like you think the show's wrapping up for a while. Yeah, it's long. And they're like, we have another guest. I'm like, I'm going to piss my pants. Yeah. So oh, so this is the guy with the driving. I feel bad because, you know, Chad is, is doing great. He's got a Netflix special. He gets on Kill Tony. He's probably like, hey, this is a big platform. I'm going to get some views. Did Rogan and Segura that week, too. Ah, then, then this shit happens. Because this is, this is a tightrope, this Kill Tony. Because you want to be funny, but not too mean. Yeah. It's a tough one. <laughs> is this it, Mark? Yeah. Uh, this is the first thing. Oh, okay. Is there a moment I should look for? I think go for the Gumry. The red-headed uh, That's No, I think they guy. were having fun with each other. Oh, okay. Afterwards, they were laughing about it. Well, the internet's already made multiple videos about how it was bad and Chad fucked up and all this. I, I But you were there, so... You didn't I was there for part of it. I left at a certain point because I was like... Uh, you didn't come back? No, I came back. Oh, okay. the, I, maybe he was still there. I don't remember. I had a few I had a few in me. This guy was my favorite. Oh, wow. Is that Willie Nelson over here? He knew... He fucking knew... Uh, the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez, and he was talking about, he called him Richie at one point. I was like, Richie? <laughs> you, you, you had a nickname for the one of the most notorious fucking serial killers? You know, me and Theo Bundy, we used to... Uh, <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Oh, really? I said Teddy Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... There you go. All right, well, maybe it was... Uh, I just I just saw the internet was a buzz, and I saw you were on it, so I was like, oh, perfect. Yeah, it didn't seem that bad to me when I was there, but I, I did have to pee like a motherfucker. Oh, here we go. Old friends or something like that. I don't know about it. What is going on right now? This is absolutely incredible. This is yeah, it's like you make fun of my fucking dog. You say something about my fucking dog. See, I think Chad's like, I'm, I'm out at this point. I'm not gonna even talk anymore. Like he's not gonna get more oxygen. Yeah. All right. Does he get weirder than this? I don't know. I haven't actually watched. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just, just think he does this as like part of the. This like, is his move. It's like his character just to, to like, to, it's like wrestling. He's like, yeah, exactly. he's like turning on you as a joke. Yeah. But I was already kind of like, I think he just chose, he was going to probably attack from what I gather afterwards. Tony's like, oh, I forgot to tell you guys he does that. It was such a hilarious thing. Yeah. It's like, I forgot to tell you my dog is rabid. <laughs> uh, yeah. But no, he's like, yeah, he turns on one of the judges usually. And I was like, well, I guess he picked Chad. And then I was just like, too, thank God he picked Chad. Because I like, I don't want to bail mid like argument with a guy to pee. But I was like, I'm peeing either way. And it's one of those things, not to shit on the guy, because he's, he's a regular. But like, what do you do with that kind of humor? Like, I like jokes. I like fucking around. He's just yelling at me like, you know, no, no. I'm like, yeah, hey, all right, what are you, homeless? I don't know. what. To, it's like a weird interaction i don't know how to save that right so that's a tough one as a comedian yeah i was kind of like they were just kind of going i was like well, i don't really know how to chime in yeah i, I was kind of i was in there for a while like all right and then uh you know i'm with you i, I would have just been like oh, it's on chad i'm out yeah because i don't know what to do with the yelling i'm like can we go back to being comedians <laughs> yeah if you're gonna like zing me or something it's different i love yeah, a zing yeah yeah, yeah. zing but, me all day but just the yelling yeah i wouldn't know what to do with it either probably yeah and he's done it to me before and i'm just like oh, are we done yet I, I don't i don't know this is not my kind of humor i'm not saying it's bad i just don't know what to do here <laughs> i like jokes and well you're like a yes up. and type of guy sure yeah. yeah i like improv do i yell with you i don't know what to do so yeah. That's all. That's that's. No, I talked to him me. afterwards. He was very nice. That's the thing. But I think it's like a, very it's, like a, nice. it's like a character. But I think the problem is Chad is a a man. Chad will beat your ass. Like he's a Minnesota hockey playing, beer drinking, 
dude. So I think he's like, this guy's yelling at me? What the fuck's going on here? I don't know if he knows the the shtick. <laughs> that would be a great episode of Kill Tony. Comedian curb stomps uh, open mic. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch. Like, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's gonna happen on Kill Tony eventually. I you guarantee think so? it. Oh, eventually somebody's gonna snap. Yeah, one of these you can't. One of these fucking open micers maybe has like a bad set and is just like, "Fuck it, I'm going down in flames." Yeah, just yeah. takes off Harlan Williams' head or something. <laughs> Someone goes down. Well, have you seen the pen of whack jobs that are waiting to get on Kill Tony? It's like circus freaks. So eventually, one of them's gonna be full schizo, and then you know. uh Greg Fitzsimmons is going to be like, yeah, you got that right, you homo. And he's going to, ah, he's gonna <laughs> snap. That's coming. <laughs> By the way, Greg's new special is great. That's my wreck. We got it. Yeah, we got to get Greg on here. I love Greg. We tried to get him on, but we'll get him in like the next couple months probably. Yeah, so funny. Like, I was in Mexico. Just got back from Mexico yesterday. Uh, I was How was in, it? It was great. I was in Guadalajara. I fucking love Mexico. I try to go every time I can. I've been twice. But uh, I went as a kid a lot. But um, I was in Mexico and I was lonely because you know your uh, your phone isn't working. I'm in the shitty hotel. And Why are you in the shitty hotel? I don't know. It looked good online, uh, and I almost changed it, but I don't have it in me. I texted my manager. I was like, "Should I change the hotel?" And he's like, "Send me some photos: cement shower, one towel, a weird goo." Uh, you open the windows, just a guy staring in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the bed was rock hard. It was like a cement slab. I hate that. My back still hurts from even, the bed. Even nice hotels have shitty beds. That's true. Even nice hotels. I'm like, can we get a decent pillow in here? I know. What the is pillows. It? It's a fucking piece of paper. <laughs> it's like, what? who I sleeps know. on this shit? You got to ball it up and fold it up to get some some cushion. One hotel should be like, we got the good pillows. Oh, Think yeah. all the business you're going to get. That's true. I mean, you stay in a bad hotel, those pillows will fucking kill. Think oh, for a yeah. minute, Weston was like, we have good pillows. All right. Yeah. Well, now I used to see the guy carrying a pillow at the airport. I'm like, look at this fucking pussy. He can't leave his house without a pillow. Jesus Christ. And then I'm like, I get it. Yeah. Now I get it. But what's a good pillow to you might not be a good pillow to me. What's a good pillow to uh, you? True. I, yeah. like, I like a little uh, a low give but firm. Okay. I like flatty. How about you? Uh, you would have loved my ex. <laughs> now, uh, I'm with you. I like firm but a little bit of give. But you, just, you need some neck support. What you're, how you're supposed to sleep is on your back. With like a pillow, you should really should be sleeping with three pillows. If you talk to like a specialist, you should have one under your, under your knees here. You have like one like memory foam or something like that under like your shoulders, and then on top of that, staggered, it should be your neck. So you should be sleeping on your back, but no one sleeps on their back. No one. But that's, I saw a doctor back in the day about it. He's like, you need to be sleeping on your back. Whoa. He, on my stomach. Really? Yeah. So I I was uh yeah yeah butt in the air just waiting to get rail. <laughs> Presenting. And, uh, so wait, no. wait a minute. You sleep like this? Ready to win this football season? Prize Picks is the best way to have a little fun. It's the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Unlike those other apps, it's just you against the numbers. So gameplay is super simple. All you do is pick whether a player is going to get more or less of a stat. Then watch the game to find out if you were right. Yeah, I mean this is uh, this is fun stuff. Who doesn't love fantasy? Who doesn't love a little gambling? Prize Picks even has an injury insurance policy, so your lineups stay in play, even if one of your players is hurt. This month specifically, they also have a cool deal going on. One Caleb Williams passing yard gets you uh, one win on Prize Picks every week of September. Click the link in our show notes to download the Prize Picks app today and use code DRUNKS to get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code DRUNKS on Prize Picks to get you $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even have to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. Prize Picks, run your game. That's nice. A boor- that's a boring one. Nutrition is confusing. There are so many things to think about and so many numbers to crunch. Lumen is completely changing the game. It's the world's first handheld metabolic coach. The device measures your metabolism through your breath and reports back to you on an easy-to-use app. Just breathe into the device first thing in the morning or before and after workouts and meals so you can keep tabs on what's going on with your body in real time. Wow. Uh, You'll find out if you're burning fat or carbs and get tailored guidance to improve your nutrition, workout, sleep, and even stress management skills 
It's amazing anyone is fat anymore. All we got is step counters, lumen. All we got, all everything we know exactly what's going in our body. You got that that thing that tells you what's in a, the products. Yuka, that's that's good stuff. Yeah, we know everything, and yet we're still huge and unhealthy. Yeah, so hard. get lumen. Life's hard. Life's hard. You got to do it. You got to live. We all have vices, but get lumen. And that way you can know where you're at and and help yourself. So if you want to take the next step in improving your health, go to lumen. Dot M-E slash drunk to get 15% off your lumen. That's L-U-M-E-N dot M-E slash drunk for 15% off your purchase. Thank you, Lumen, for sponsoring the app. Guys, we've all been there. You want to get hard, but you can't. Don't freak out. Hims is here to get you back to peak performance. Mm. Hims provides access to a range of doctor-trusted ED treatments like hard mints, proven treatments like Viagra and Cialis, or even generics for up to 95% cheaper. Getting started is simple and it's totally online. No more awkward visits to the doctor to talk about your junk. You don't even need the insurance to sign up. Pay one low price for your treatments, online visits, ongoing shipments, and messaging with your provider. You seriously can't beat it. Start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash drunk. That's H-I-M-S dot com slash drunk for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash drunk. The products mentioned are chewable, compounded products, which are not approved or verified for safety or effectiveness by the FDA. But what the fuck do they know? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see if you nail this. Yeah. That's how I sleep. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Not with the legs in the air like that, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how I sleep. That's not bad. But with a pillow under, too, so I'm like back here. So I think that fucked. Not great for your neck. Yeah. But think about it, man. You're like on a fucking like if I get if I get acupuncture, dude, I will fall asleep on the table because I'm so oh, comfortable. Right, oh wow, right. yeah. What do you side? On uh, my back. Oh, all right. Yeah. You sleep on your back. Yeah, all night. Good for you. That's like yeah, I fucking awesome. hate you for saying that. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Like that, and then I put a a t-shirt over my eyes. Whoa. And it stays there all night. That's how much I don't move. They make sleep masks. Yeah, get a sleep but mask. Like, but it like, it, sleep mask tugs your face tight. Oh, no, I got a good one. Head. I got a good one. Really? I like a good sleep mask. Just a thing. T-shirt. Yeah. I bring a sleep mask on the road because you never know if you get one of those hotels that doesn't, they don't have good blackout curtains. Yeah. That's true. I go uh, side clan hood. No. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm all side. I, I, I'm, I'm that guy. Yeah. I'm Steph Curry. Ooh. Yeah. I, I need the side, and I, I rotate throughout the night. So how's your pregnant wife sleeping? She is side as well, and I bought her a pillow wedge that kind of the belly can rest on. Wow. Yeah. That's so considerate. Ah, I just took her from Peter's when he was fat. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> she rolls over. That's fucking crazy. If, yeah, I never thought about that. I guess, like, fuck, if I was a woman sleeping on my stomach, just gonna fucking crush a baby. You crush probably. the baby. That's why sex is weird. We're doing doggy. We're wow. doing legs up. Yeah, because you can't fuck with that stomach. And luckily, I got years of fucking fat chicks <laughs> in my belt. Hell yeah. So, uh, you ever yeah. fuck dangerous? You fuck her like by the staircase, but you don't put her down. <laughs> you know? I fuck her in the closet. I'm like, see that coat hanger? <laughs> that could be you, baby. <laughs> Is the sex good pregnant? Do you, I mean, it's, it must be fun. You're like fucking a different woman kind of. That's true, yeah. It's like cheating, but like with a fat chick. There's that, and she she's huge yeah. and pregnant, so she appreciates it. She's like, thanks for fucking me, which a woman's never told me. So that's nice. <laughs> and, Man, uh, this is like amazing. It's great, and she's having more feelings. Like she, I put it in, and she's like, blah, 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 blah. You know, she goes wow. full turkey on me. And uh, it's great, because before I put it in, and she was like, <laughs> so uh, yeah, there, there's more hormones and sex and uh, and feeling down there, I guess. Apparently, so which is weird, a bio weird biological thing. Why would the body make sex feel better when you're pregnant? I would say, I would wager, to keep you around. Ooh, but if wouldn't it keep her horny, around? No, if she's more horny, it means she's offering you more sex. Which means keeping the partner around. Biologically, Biologically. I, that's good. Yeah, just a guess. God's like she's gonna look gross. Yeah. So 
No, I think you're. I He's going to get really into it. Yeah. Give that a goog. No, I there are dudes. There are dudes that are you kind of into it though. Like she's got a little belly. Her tits are bigger. Tits are bigger. That's great. But yeah. they're like blue veins, and they look like they're going to break. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the water balloon where you're like, nope, don't put more <laughs> No in. more. Yeah. And I'm like. But it's kind of cool. It's cool, yeah. It's definitely like a different person. It definitely adds another kind of layer to Mixes sex. it up. Mixes it up. Are, you, you, are you worried for when you have a kid and he's going to start tugging on those things? A little, yeah. And she's already like, I'm doing the lift. I'm getting a, a lift when. Really? Saggers, yeah. She's already. That's her call. It says uh, increased blood flow and sensitivity in there the it is. and genitals may lead to higher levels of sexual arousal. It's wetter, it's wilder, it's uh, wow. it's freakier, yeah. Sounds like a fun Six Flags event. <laughs> <laughs> the wet and wild pregnant woman. Oh, yeah. Well, I got six inches of uh, steel. You know what I saw? I saw a thing recently on the internet that was like, you know, men show up or something like this. It's like men will say they, they have a decent penis and show up with six inches. And I'm like, Uh-oh. Well, if you're not satisfied at all with that, maybe it's you. Right. It's like saying like a man will, will take you out to dinner and just get you a, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. Feeder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. And then some women, look, I'm not huge, but I've been with some women where they're like, all right, all right, all right. Don't put it all the way in. And you're like, whoa, what are you doing with other love, men? Love those women. I love those women, too. Yeah. One was black, by the way. Whoa. Yeah, we all know her. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, she was like, whoa, easy, yeah. easy. She's limping, like, then she walks away normal like Kaiser Sose. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, right. That was fucking fine. <laughs> uh, the lips would turn me on. <laughs> but, yeah, there, there's uh, there's different vagina because we always talk about dick sizes. There's got to be vagina size. Of course, yeah. So, you know. Yeah, it's put done. that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, put that in your cooch and weigh it. <laughs> yeah. So, fellas, find yourself a small clammed broad. A medium. Yeah, that's right. It's funny. We're looking for small. Not yeah. too small because you don't want it to be small. like fucking like, you know, we've been with them like, ah, ah, the whole right, time you're like, right. all right, it's not fucking. Once again, the answer is lady boys. What are we I doing mean, here, fellas? Yeah. Well, that's all anal. Mm. But then Peters, you're 6'6". Six, six. Oh, you're 6'4"? Six, 6'4". Four? Six, four. I thought you were tall. You got a big presence about you, though. Yeah, you do. He also wears like the, the types of sweaters that like kind of like old school manly men wear. Yes, yes. Like a dad who hits his kid. Yeah. Oh, that kind of stuff. Like a dad that would like grab your wrist and you're like, dad, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, did your my dad had the angry God damn it when when he did that thing, I was like, Oh, it's over. I've met your dad. It's so funny. He's like so soft spoken the times I've met him. Crazy. Well he's he, just mellowed out. He mellowed out and he got on some antidepressant, and I think it totally like feminized him a little. Mm. And when I was a kid though, it was like temper, scary, throw a whiskey glass across the room. Holy shit. Yeah. It's kinda cool. It was kinda cool, but when you're on the business side of that whiskey glass, you're like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was such a, that's such an abusive type of just like a chug of fucking whiskey and throw it at your kid. Yeah, he had a uh, clean that shit up. Oh, there he is with the limp wrist. You caught you caught him on a bad moment there. No one would ever be scared of this man, but when he were a kid, he was like the guy in L.A. Confidential who cracked the chair. He looks like Mr. Burns right now. Look at this shit. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Uh, that's a that's a bad. We gotta kind of cut that. That's a great pick of you two. Yeah, that part's great. You guys look cool. It. Glam. This is me going, oh, God, marriage. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, what have your I dad done? Knows, your dad knows what's ahead. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a great dress. Is this her after wedding dress? Yes. Wedding yes. Dress? I mean, that's how into it she got. And this is my after wedding smoking jacket. Yeah, I like that look, man. Oh, yeah. Very Hefner, very cool. It's all tuxedo, black, black tux.com. Did free, you get a crazy plug. tux? Didn't Rogan get you a crazy suit? He did, yeah. What's, what's that, what happened with that? I wore it out drinking with Ari and Sal recently, and uh, boy, you feel like a million bucks. It says MN on the cufflink. The opening says uh, Mark Norman's suit. What what store was it? Uh, I think it's uh, Emilio Bellato. <laughs> no, no. It was some Italian, crazy Italian guy. The guy showed up. He looked like Sal, uh, what's his name? Sebastian Maniscalco. Just yeah. like a hot Italian guy. He weighs, he measures you. You know, he's all up in there, and he's like, "You want this kind of cut, that kind of cut? How do you wear it? How do you like it?" And yeah. best thing ever, I'll never not wear this suit. Just takes the thing six inches. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do better than that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool, man. That's fucking awesome. 
Yeah, suits are fucking. Like, look how cool he looks in that fucking. Yeah, he looks shirt. great. Also, not your shirt. I, yeah, I'm rocking it too. Yeah. Who, I think I did this before you. I think. No I had, way. I think so. <laughs> when, when did you make? That? I've had this for a while. I want the receipt. I'll, I'll look it up. Because we can it. look this up too. When how long have you had the? How long have you had the backdrop? I'm gonna go with a year. Oh, I definitely had this longer than a year. Oh, really? Damn. I got, I got the Nicholson one too. Yeah. Fucking lo- dude, I got a wreck for you. Speaking of LA, please. Girl. I'd never seen Mash till last night. Oh, I saw it halfway through back in the day. I was dating a girl who was like, "This is boring." I was like, "It's hilarious." Yeah. But I was just like, you know, you're just like, "Fuck it, let me just salvage the night." Yeah, yeah. But, that- yeah, I watched it last night. I fucking loved it. Robert Altman, that theme song is so sad. It's amazing. Suicide is violent. Painless. The painless. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, the. Uh, they're just torturing that woman, Sally Kellerman. Yeah. They just torture her. Cause it's, like, so funny because she's, uh, she's not in the shit like they are. So they're like, fuck her. We'll torture her to make her one of us. Is that the first movie to TV show ever? Ooh, I'll look it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's, it, for a while, it went the other way. It went, like, because they did, like, The Fugitive and then that was the movie. True, true. Nash is fucking, Altman's fucking great. Altman's always Also, great. if you've never seen Nashville, Nashville's fucking incredible. I got to watch Nashville. That's a great one. Better than Mash, it's so different. Okay, There's, it's such a different vibe, but it's it's so good, man. Pop quiz: What does Mash stand for? Uh, mobile Army uh, Surgical Hospital. Yeah, Ooh. is that it? I don't know. I think it's Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. Yeah, I think that's it. Wow, that would Are be good? something. Porn up just as we found you found Sally Goose. Just a chick with a dick pops up like that. <laughs> Six inches. <laughs> surgical. Oh, here we go. Mobile no. Army Surgical. Hey. We got it. All right, now here's another one. Yeah. Okay. Scuba. Oh, I have no idea. Sub. Cutaneous. Oh, Self contained. Oh, no. Underwater breathing apparatus. Self contained. Underwater breathing apparatus. I never got that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Scuba. Nice. Nailed it. Have you ever scubaed? I snorkeled, never scooped. Uh, same. I think snorkel is good enough for me. That's all I, I need. Guess, the surface. I get the. Yeah, I like to know I can go back up. Yeah, the Shark Tank people. You know the people who were in that that cage. Yeah. Never. Oh my god. Yeah. What are you thinking? People love it. They get in that cage and they feel safe. Not me. Have you not seen Jaws? I know. Like fuck that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, I saw a surfer just talking about, he was on Edelman's, the pot used to do with Julian Edelman. He was Laird Hamilton. Oh yeah. And he was talking about how he would, you know, he just get out of the water. He's like, I sensed a, a shark. I guess you just like, you surf that much. You have a sense for when they're Oof, coming. And he's like, terrible. I got out, but right behind me was a hammerhead. Oh. Can you imagine how scared you would be? Oh. We bitch about hecklers. These surfers, <laughs> surfers have to deal with yeah. great white But beasts. was it a shark from Jersey? <laughs> yeah. Was it a bachelorette shark? <laughs> yeah. So I do have an answer on the first TV show developed into a movie. It was Dragnet. Or the other way around, sorry. Uh, Wait a minute. Dragnet came out in the 80s, though. Oh, I guess there was a movie. Yeah. I'm thinking of the Dan Aykroyd, Tom Hanks. This is 1954. Oh, okay. Trans, uh, translate over to the big screen in 1954. But now I feel like it goes the other way. Like they did Get Shorty, the TV show. Yeah. Like it kinda, yeah. Now it goes... To TV. That's true. Yeah, I'm trying to think of another one that they did into a movie or a TV show. Well, back in the day, it was a big deal when your when your TV show would make like South Park made a movie. It was like a oh movie, yeah, right. And now I feel like it's oh Starsky and Hutch became a movie, and Dukes of Hazard became both horrible movies, but they did it. I think yeah. we ran out of ideas for a while. Actually, still, still. What do, What do you got? You got any Rex? Uh, well, I got the uh, the Fitzsimmons special. Oh, yeah, Check yeah. it out. It's on YouTube now. I think it's got about a hundred, great two hundred k views. And great guy. Great guy. He had a great bit about baseball that I can't remember now, but uh, just a, cool to see. No one commands a room better than Fitzsimmons. That guy is just in the pocket. I'm listening to every word. You're never bored. He just knows how to deliver a stand up really got, well. I'm always. This is your wreck. That's Mark's wreck. Chimp Crazy. It's good? It's I got to the first one. It's, oh, the second one's there's a great cliffhanger after two. And it's okay. and it's the Tiger King guy. Yeah, it's a guy who made Tiger King. He sort of couldn't make a number two because he was so well known. He couldn't uh, get back into the animal world. So he hired a proxy director ooh, to direct it for him, wee. be the face of it. Damn. But it's him. And they ripped that face off. <laughs> the lady. I, I got I gotta watch okay, yeah, I definitely will watch this. It's the Tiger King guy. Yeah. yeah. Did I already wreck 
Bad Monkey on Apple. Oh, you did? I, I gotta watch that. You gotta watch that. My wife hates yeah. Vince Vaughn, so I haven't been able to Who watch Who hates it. Vince Vaughn? She thinks he's a, a smart-ass piece of shit. That's like, why I that, love him. That's why I like him, too. <laughs> but that's I, great. I do see, like, Deadpool. I haven't seen the second one. I heard it's pretty good. But I just don't love the smarmy comedy for two hours. I just don't love the breaking the fourth wall that much. That much. I understand, like, a little bit, but it's like the whole movie. It's just like, it, it's fine. I didn't dislike it, but it's like a thing where it's... uh. It gets to a point where it's like, this is just fan service. Yes, It gets yes. to a point where, like, that's cool to do that. Sure. But, like... Can't lean on it. It's like breaking on SNL. You can break every now and then. It's fun. Oh, man, G- Jimmy Fallon's losing it. But if you but, do it every sketch, it loses the magic. Well, it's exactly. And and I think, you know, at a certain point, like Marvel, they know what they have. So right. Right. was telling me they'll... They, it's hard, weird to watch one of those at home because they have these moments that are, like, meant for applause. And yeah, yeah. So like you're just watching at home and you're like he's just standing there. Huh. It's like watching like a neighbor. It's like watching a neighbor show up and open the door in a sitcom and he's just like this and then, and you're like there's no applause. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. But uh, I just don't care about Marvel. Like my friend was opening for me and he was like, dude, they made this joke, they made that joke, and I'm like, well, I don't even get that joke. He's like, the joke is Hawkeye was in the wrong spot. I'm like, I don't care. That, who gives a fuck about Hawkeye or, my or whatever? My loved it. So I went to see it with her. I'm such a fucking idiot. I booked in like one of those like RPX things. It's supposed to be cool because it's like a shaking chair and like oh. makes noise. And I, I, there's so many show times for this movie still that I, I picked the wrong time. But like luckily we just walked into another theater, but then we had to see it like normal. Oh, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, she wanted to see it, and I was like, and she was like dying. There's really? A, well, look, there's a fucking hilariously ugly dog in it. That <laughs> it's so ugly that that he's cute. Right. I don't know if you saw that dog. Pull it up. But long, like longer hanging tongue than even Wingus. Mm. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look, it's not like bad. It's just also like, it's like what you expect. Yeah. There's you would love Gambit. He's got a great. Character. Oh, all right. At least from Nola. Right. Whoa. Well, that dog is like a great life now. It was re- rescued. It was voted the ugliest dog, and now it's like a, it's, the dog's like famous. And how long till Peter good... gets like, hey, that's mean. You can't call the dog <laughs> ugly. That's uh, body shaming. But this dog's so ugly that it's kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like Ron Perlman. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crazy looking mutt. Holy shit! But uh, wow, yeah, dude, I got fuck. I had a peeve too. I had a thing. Oh, yeah. Happy, oh, I had a peeve, too. Hold on. Ooh, this is a peeve. People right. who send you a really long text and then sign their initials at the end. Uh, Ooh. What is this? Your book signing? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, dash L. Oh. Dash B D. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. My dad, he'll write a long thing and write dad. But I think he's just like an old boomer guy who doesn't da- know how to use it. It's different. I've had older, when it's, it's, it's only annoys me when young people do it. Yeah. When older people do it, I think it's like, oh, I don't know how technology works. Like I had Leno text me once, and he and he finished it with J. Ah, uh, that's like, kind of cute. Like, that's kind of cute. It's like yeah. an older guy. Endearing. You know? you know, like those texts you show when the person dies. You're gonna show that one because it's fucking signed. People do that. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Yeah, like Jay Leno dies. You're like, here's him talking to me, a oh. young comic, and it's signed J. No, Max, I'm not gonna make his death about me. <laughs> <laughs> guy who does that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guy, guy who's to ruin the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say. No, before. actually, um, <laughs> when Jay Leno dies, I'll mourn the loss of an entertainer. So. For, for the record, if I go, yeah. if I kick the bucket, do not show text at my funeral. <laughs> just saying, I'm putting that out there now. Please. <laughs> Norman called uh, Peter as a f- in uh, 2024. You know, whatever it is. If I speak at that funeral, uh, Mark always said comedy. There you go. But today, Perfect. there's no laughing matter. <laughs> Here's text to prove it. I love the the headline. Funny man dies on the highway. <laughs> yeah, it happens to everybody. <laughs> well, yeah, I, you know, I date someone who works in sports, so she comes in the other day, and these it's a tragic story about these two uh, hockey players who got killed by the drunk driver in Jersey. She walks in the bedroom and goes, tragedy in New Jersey this morning. I'm like, who speaks like uh, that? What are you, the post? Yeah. But it's like, that's how they talk. Yeah, yeah. You're on oh, TV, yeah. you speak like a tragedy, and you know, but. That's hilarious. I'm like, let's go to break right now. <laughs> no, I mean us. Let's go on a break. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that is funny to talk like that. You don't do that. Like, what's the deal with doggy style? <laughs> you I'm know? fucking her. Yeah. We're not dogs. <laughs> I guess we've got style. <laughs> 
<laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> what? Did you ever notice that women don't come when I fuck them? <laughs> Your girlfriend's like, women? <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, you. You, you don't come. Mm-hmm. You have a little microphone by the back. <laughs> He's giving you the light. I have done that, though. I have done the second I come. I run over to like type something. Oh, uh, I've done you ever, that. You ever have a joke idea and you're like, I just got to get through this sex so I can retain this joke? Women love that. Oh. I do it. Oh. Yeah, no, they want you to make eye contact yeah. and be present, but I'm just like, fuck, I'm like, just fucking, just like, just come. And then I jump off. I do a fucking back somersault. <laughs> uh, AIDS. And she's like, what? Oh. Like, no, no, not me. The joke. The joke is about AIDS. I don't have it. <laughs> Yeah, well, you got that bit idea. You got to write it down. Oh, I definitely. You've gotten sex idea. Oh yeah, of course. During of course. sex, you're like, oh, there's a joke. Of course, yeah, and sex is already always pretty funny. I was talking to Ari, and he said that uh, joke retention is about 14 seconds. If you don't write it down after 14 seconds, it goes. Luckily, yeah. I only fuck for 13. <laughs> yeah. And the worst is when people go, "If it's a good idea, you'll remember it." That's not true. No, it's not. I'll forget any idea, you lose good it or all bad. The time. I think Tom Waits had the line where he'll get like a good song lyric, a uh, good song lyric, and he's and he's like, "Can't you see I'm driving?" Uh, like he'll oh, say that to God. Oh, that's good. That's but, good. Uh, he's he's funny. That guy. He's he's an interesting mind. Waits. He is funny. I like Waits. I like Waits too. He's fucking cool. He's a cool dude. His his Letterman's are top notch. He's just so fucking weird. He's weird and cool and dark. He's, he's I like him. He's a fun kid. He'd be a fucking killer guest on this. What's his big song? Oh my god, so many. Get Downtown get Train, I Hope I Don't Fall in Love With You, Rain Dogs. He wrote Jersey Girl for Bruce Springsteen. Did no. Yeah, that's, that's a him. That's a money maker. Dude, right this there. whole first album is a fucking banger. He had a different voice back then, but What's he was like 24 when he wrote it. Whoa. I've sent you some of those songs, Old 55. Oh, that's him? Yeah. I only know uh, that through the Eagles. Uh, oh, maybe he, uh, did he do it first or no? I don't know, look it up. Give He's it done to... some great covers too, but... Is he a uh, New York guy? Canadian? Where's he from? Where's he from? He look, he feels New Yorky, but I think it's just because he's on Letterman, and I've only seen photos of him in New York. Anyone want to guess? Mark, you're good at this. Before I pop it up, where's uh, he from? Oh, uh, where's he from? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Toronto. I'm gonna guess Jersey. I'm going Minnesota. No, nope, that's not gonna do it. Here it what is. do we got? Uh, Hit Cole me, baby. Singer songwriter. P- P- Pomona, California. Well, wow. We were way, we're way off. off. We got to get this guy in the show. Yeah. Well, he's Sam- be- Samsonite. I was way <laughs> off. <laughs> he's 74 now. He's, he's, he's pretty freed up, I'd say. <laughs> he's, but he's a fucking man. He's one of those guys who's too cool. Like, you're like, hey, so uh, you're from Pomona, California. He's like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> His voice now is like fucking crazy. Gravel. Yeah, Rain Dog is a sick album, too. But that first one's pretty crazy. He did the fuck the theme for the wire. That's really yeah. oh, what down in the hole is Tom oh Waits. God. Is that right? I don't know if it's his original. He definitely does it. Yeah, it's whoa, his voice. it's definitely him in the wire. I think. Whoa. I said definitely in the nice. I think. I think. Uh oh. Strange looking guy too. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he's fucking great. He's great. What? What? Uh, do you have a peeve? Oh yeah. Well, it's not a great peeve, but I I was at the Guadalajara airport. And I'm the token honky, you know, I'm the guy like, oh, where do I go? I don't Decent speak airport? Spanish. Yeah, a little dingy. Do you go direct flight or you have to connect? Connect in Dallas. Yeah, it's not that bad. Not too bad. Small plane, though, to Dallas? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I was the gringo. And uh, no one no, no one goes to Guadalajara. People go to Mexico City. They go to uh, Cancun or whatever the hell, but Tijuana. Guadalajara was me, a cockfight, and uh, a lady making so you went, tortillas. You went there solo? Solo, just baby. Just for the gig. You just love Mexico right now. I like Mexico, and I've never been to Guadalajara, and we sold some tickets there, so fuck I love it. that. Um, so I'm on the in the airport. I finally land. You know, it's like seven, eight-hour travel day. You're a little wonky, and I'm going through customs, and you have to take your passport and scan it on this machine. And it kept saying, no passport, no good, no good, red, red, red. So I go up to the guy and I go, no worky, uh, bad news, though, no bueno. <laughs> sucky, sucky, $5? <laughs> yeah, hello. So he was like, scan, scan, scan And I was like, I scanned, I scanned, but there's, you know, there's, no, there's no language. There's a barrier. So I go, look, scan, scan. He goes, scan it, scan it. He keeps yelling at me, and I'm like, it's not working. And then eventually he takes it. And it doesn't work, and he goes, "You got to go over there." And I'm like, 
why couldn't you just listen to me? But I guess they see so many idiots coming through there that don't know how to do it that he just assumed I was one. Yeah, but you're a traveled man. I'm a traveled man. I know how to work my my passport machine, but this guy was uh, not having any of it. And then eventually he tried it, and he was like, oh, sorry, go over there. But you, they got you after that? Got me in, yeah. I fucking hate that, though, when they act like you're an idiot. Yeah. I know. And I did get the uh, random check, which was felt very pointed. Oh, geez, with these eyebrows, it's never random. <laughs> uh, I hate it. I, every time. Yeah. By the way, I do Q&A at the end of shows. A lot of people go, Sam's eyebrows. Really? That's a big they're one. They're fucking big. I got, I got some fucking eyebrows. I don't dude. think they're that crazy. Really? They're pretty big. I guess they're long. Yeah, I just get, you know what I get is they don't even ask if I'm at the barber now. They don't even ask. I just go, <laughs> I'm like, Jesus Christ. Uh, like, what do they do to your eyebrows? You just, they just trim it a little oh, bit. Oh, on the top? Yeah. You oh. don't get that? I get no. that too with the comb. Yeah. They hit the comb on and then they oh. trim it. They used top. to at least ask. They don't ask. Oh. Like, that, yeah. that could be a bad sign. <laughs> they're nice eyebrows. They're full. Yeah. They're dark. You know what? When they do, uh, I don't know if you're at the age yet, but when they're like ear hair, it's like, that's a, just a yes. You know, yeah, you know the answer to this question. <laughs> no, I'm growing it out. Yeah. Uh, keep it. I'm gonna yeah. braid it. <laughs> but yeah, Mexico. So I do a show in Guadalajara. Killer crowd. Great show. They get everything. You know, you can talk about Biden. You talk about uh, Brad Pitt, Taylor Swift, whatever it is. They they is get it all locals of it. or expats. Both. A little of both. You get some people who are like, I want to learn, see if I can test my English. You know. Yeah. Um, and then I leave. I'm walking down the street, kind of half in the bag, just taking in Guadalajara, and uh, this guy runs up on me, white guy, and he goes, hey, 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 where are you going? I go, I'm just walking around. He goes, I was at the show. You want to come to my bar and hang out? I was like, sure, I got nothing to do. So I go to this guy. This guy from San Francisco. It'd be great if you're just in like the bottom. It's like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Gimp in there. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. He locks the door. Now you're mine. <laughs> I'm going to get medieval on his ass. <laughs> so I go to this guy's bar. Lived in Berkeley. Yeah. Got too weird during COVID. Said, I'm moving to Guadalajara. Started his own business. Now he's like, I'm the king out here. I get laid all the time. I got my own bar, my own business. I'm a rich man. I'm never going back. How old is he? 25. Holy shit. Can you believe that? He's making money there? He's making a ton of money because wow. he owns a business. Oh. Right on the strip, too. I was like, how did you do this? He's like, I just was desperate. I figured it out. I put it together. Crazy. And he was cool? Cool dude. Uh, he uh, offered me some blow and I was like, ah, I got to go, I got to go. And then I get home and I got like 9 million DMs. Like, you should have come out, man. Hey, it's pretty crazy out here. I'm in a nightclub right now with six girls. You should have come out. I was like, I did the right thing. Yeah. But nice you guy. Did. I hope he doesn't hear this. Yeah, whatever. What What were you drinking? Uh, I was out there. I had to do tequila. Yeah. Tequila's from Guadalajara. Mariachi's from Guadalajara. Mari wow. Guadalajara is like Mexico. It's like it's like if you, someone dropped you in Kentucky. And you're like, this is America. Wow. Trump flags and and uh, guns. That's what it felt like. It felt like Mexico. Damn. But great, great time. Cheap as shit. You're like damn. a king out there. I'm eating street tacos. I'm like, yeah, hey, give me another one there, Paco. I'm giving him, <laughs> giving him twos and threes. And he's like, whoa, Jesus. I gotta, I gotta do Mexico, man. It's fun. It's I'm it's going. got some grit. I wonder if I can move some tickets. I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. What? Oh, I got another peeve, by the way. Oh, please. Um. Just dudes with sharp rings. Oh, uh, I fucking rings. hate it. I hate sharp rings. Yeah, especially this bumper. The, oh, this dude's. I always see him. He's always trying to give me fist bumps with the sharp rings. I'm like, what are you doing? That mm. fucking hurts. Yeah, it's just it's annoying. It texturally is annoying. And then uh, you shake their hand. That's bad too. Uh, from now on, only a wave. <laughs> Interesting. I'm only giving a wave. Okay, sharp ring. Yeah, I mean, you gotta hate a sharp ring. I hate a sharp ring. I hate. I hate. I have a ring for the wedding, and I hate when people squeeze it and it, you know, it hits the ring. It hurts. But rings in general, I don't love. I don't like jewelry. I'm not a big jewelry ring. guy. I hate jewelry. Yeah. Why would you want to put another thing on your body? It's just another thing to think of. The watch is already pushing it. Yeah, the watch is pushing. It. But I like a watch. But then, but then, like chains or jewelry, it's just a lot. I completely agree. I don't. As guys who wear a bracelet, I'm like, what's the upside? <laughs> what, what's the point of the bracelet? Or women like, hey, a bracelet. You know, I get it if you want to do some crazy thing that turns on He's women. Stefano might be listening, geez. What do you does he wear a bracelet? Oh, yeah. He does? He's a fucking, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Some guy's like a little bling. 
Yeah. Every guy's got a necklace now. Have you noticed that? Yeah, what is that? And I don't think they're in. Too. I know. Yeah, out here. I had a guy, uh, a friend of mine, I want to get him on the pod. We will at some point, I'm sure, Tan France from Queer Eye. Oh, yeah. He was like, oh, this would go well with like a good necklace. I'm like, I don't, I don't like that. He's nah. like, all right. No, I can't but I guess it's, it. he's a stylish guy, and he's like, it's in. Yeah, we're we're the minority here. We're the losers. Well, how about these fucking baseball players who are wearing like forty pound <laughs> chains now? I'm like, how is what's the upside? You're running, it just hits you in the fucking mouth. I know. You're diving in the second. A chain is. I don't get it. And then it's funny because chains will go out at one point. So I'm like, what are we doing here? Like, I'd rather just be me consistently than have to like, oh, this is in. Now that's out. Oh, I got. I still got to lose the chain. You know, like I wore a right. chain wallet in, in eighth grade. You did? I did because I was a skateboard queef, you know, and that was part of the, the uniform. And then eventually I was like, what am I doing? This is stupid. And then I'm not like, oh, they're back in? I'm a 40 year old guy. I'll put a chain wallet. No, it's, uh, you, I, I, just, uh, I just do, I'm doing me now. Sorry, yeah. I'm 40, I'm doing me. What is a chain wallet? I mean, I've seen it, but what's the purpose? The like, purpose is so you don't lose your wallet. It's chain You lose your wallet a lot. Ah, you can pick. No, it's also like it was like a stylish thing too. I'm stylish. Like, I'm a skater. I'm a fucking leap oh, skanks if you do, fan. If you're active. Yeah, I guess. But out. bikers have them. I think okay. they started it because they're well, Big J's follow. got one, doesn't he? He's got one, I think, still. Yeah. It's but it's like for it's him, style. I feel like it's a, like a style. thing. Totally. I think totally. it is like a style thing for like bi like biker skater type dudes. And that's his style. So he's being him. Like. I don't think chain wallets are in, and oh. he's still doing it. Oh, dude, I got another movie. I don't know. I don't. I can't call this a full on wreck because it's dark as fuck. <laughs> All right. At that dinner, Ron on. He's telling oh, me and I the lady. You heard about this movie? Yeah. Have you seen it? No, but everybody's telling me it's like next it's, level. It's dark as fuck. It's called Speak No Evil, and they're remaking it, an American version. But like, look. What is it, you Dutch? know, you know it's yeah, it's Dutch, and you know it's dark as fuck because the critic score is high, but the audience score is like fifty five, and you're like, that's because it's dark. Whoa! But look, you, it's shocking. It will shock you. Now, what's uh, what's the the premise? The premise is this family uh, and their kid are in Tuscany on vacation. They meet another family there at this big type of you know resort type place. And this other family's very friendly, like a little weird, but very friendly. Mm. And they invite them to their place in the woods. Oh boy! Uh, and with a postcard later on, and the whole thing is about, it's about like being polite or impolite. And they're like, "Well, it'd be rude to say no. I guess we don't really know them, but I guess we could do it." And they're socially just really unacceptable people. Mm, really? And it keeps getting weirder and weirder. Yeah, like you know, at one point, you know, they're at their place. They're out to dinner and they kind of like they suggest this fancy place and they force them to pay basically oh. or then they start making out aggressively or they'll be in the car and he's clearly drunk driving but he's uh you know blasting music to the point where they're like please turn it down he's just ignoring them shit like oh. that where they're very weird the couple and it keeps getting weirder so it's kind of like part thriller part horror and uh i mean look i recommend it if you have a capacity for darkness I was shocked by it. And really? I think I, and Ronan was like, our boy Ronan is who, I feel, I give him shit for this. I'm like, dude, you will only recommend a movie if it'll like fuck me up for days. Yeah, but true. I saw the American version, and it's James McAvoy is in it, and he looks, it looks cool. And I'm like, fuck, well, am I gonna see this version too? I don't know, but I was, I was definitely shocked by it. I, I will say that. Why the title? You're gonna have to see it. Okay. To know why. Okay. You'll know why when you see it. I don't want to give spoilers in case people want to see it, but uh, holy shit, man! Really? Yeah. Don't. I mean, I don't know if May will like it. Oh, that it's that she likes fucked up. Okay, well then watch it and, and I don't report know, I back. Can watch it. So since I became a dad, I can't really watch stuff where kids get hurt. Huh. Well, I'm not giving any spoilers. You're gonna have to see. Because this kid looks scared. Is yeah. the kid? Is it sexual? I don't want to say anything. Uh. I don't want to say what's happening. Okay. Because I'm right. just trying to think. If you're freaked out by it, Ronan's freaked out. List was freaked out by it. I'm he like, did List like it? He loved it, but he's like, it is the literally the craziest thing I've ever seen. And yeah, it's crazier than Clockwork Orange oh, and all that shit. It's I've seen some. I'm trying to think of movies that fuck me up, yeah. like on a psychological level. Yeah. And like, you know, Mahalan Drive kind of fucked me up just uh, because it kind of yeah. gets in your soul. It's sure. Like the way they kind of creep into it's very. They, they pull the rug out under at the end in a way where you're like, Jesus, that is fucking... And it's not nearly as fucked up as this. Really? God but, damn. This is... You're really... Uh, I mean, like, the curb stomp 
<laughs> and American History X fucked me up a little bit. Sure, because we were young and it was all. Yeah. I mean, look, not. I mean, not. <laughs> I'm at the age now where I'm okay with a curb stop. <laughs> no, but it was it was more of like a shock scene as opposed to something that really seeps in your, your. Yeah. But yeah, that sure American History X was dark as shit. Uh. But this is way scarier to me. Oh boy, I, I'm. I'm intrigued. It's but I'm really nervous. all about not having boundaries and stuff, mm. and knowing when. And like, it's funny. Ron and I totally. He can't stand up, and I'm like, I have no problem with confrontation. So I think part of me is like, you know, I have no problem being like, oh, I don't like this. You know, I don't. This doesn't. Yeah. You know? But he he said I can't really do that. So I think we were kind of scared for different reasons. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, I don't like horror usually. Me neither. Now I'm really nervous. Yeah. You watch it and tell yeah, But me. List also is fucked up. He it. said it's text him about the it. craziest movie he's ever seen. His words. That, well, they're remaking it, and I wonder if they're going to do the same. I'm not going to say what the ending is, but I wonder if the American version is going to have the same ending. I bet, we, I bet we tone it. We tend to tone. Europe well, you know, can do whatever you they You know, want. originally in Get Out, the original ending was that they don't get out. Oh, it's wow. like, and I think test audiences were like, "What the fuck?" And yeah, then they changed it, but like, I, you know, I thought, uh, I thought I love Get Out. Yeah, sure. I thought it was a great movie, but uh, I, yeah, we'll see. I'm fucked up by eerie. Like when I was a kid, Willy Wonka fucked me up. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just too weird, and they well, never if that fucked you up. Do not watch. This. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I was little, but yeah, not, I didn't uh, like Wonka. He was too like he was enjoying the kid, like a kid's in a pipe with chocolate and he's like oh look at this piece of shit and that that bugged me well I want, i'm cur- i'm selfishly curious what you would think of it okay but i'm also like i don't know <laughs> it's fucked up i like clockwork orange yeah i don't know yeah this all is right. definitely more fucked up oh wow yeah. okay damn yeah all right jeez this is uh scary yeah it's just the way it builds it's it's good. It's, all right, well, I'm talking too much about this, but it's I, I'm curious what you guys will think. Maybe off air because I don't know if I I don't know if I can stomach it. Yeah, like I I never watched the Michael Jackson doc. I can't watch the R. Kelly doc. Huh. For a guy who likes farting and offensive humor, I don't like real shit. Yeah, well, like farting is not as bad as raping. <laughs> <laughs> that's like what you do that's, is not actually bad. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, but like people yeah. are like, oh, you you push the line or whatever. I'm like, no, I'm just this is these are jokes. Like I can't watch like the Michael Jackson thing. People are like, oh, let's get the popcorn out. I'm like, this is I hate this. this are kids are getting diddled. And, it is I don't a funny. Watch this. It is a funny visual to be like you like have a whole bowl and you're like. Yeah, I mean the Ted this, Bundy shit was huge. That every girl yeah. was loving it, and I was like, "This is weird. It's murder. He's murdering women with a rock, like beating them over the head." I'm like, "I don't want to watch this." Torture porn is like it became a thing for a minute with like those Saw movies and and, and stuff like that. Where I, I never got into that. No. I don't like to just like hate it. Hate I think the they're they're meant to be seen with a group that's like ah the same yes, way. Yes. Like my friend Dana Gould will tell me like he goes, "Oh, I see. I'm at, my daughter's at the age now where like we see horror movies together." And we leave, and she'll be like, "Which were your favorite kills?" And it's uh, like, it's almost like a, you know, it's, it's formulaic in a way, sure. like, you know, where we see comedies, we laugh together. But that's people don't do that anymore, really. Yeah, that's true. you know, I guess Deadpool was a comedy, but like, it's rare that you go to a theater and you fucking. It's a good point, Barbie, maybe, but it's not really the funniest movie. No. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, no, it's a good point. I remember laughing at something about Mary, you know, eleven years old in the theater, fucking losing it, losing it. American Pie, even, you know, old school. I saw in the theater. Yeah, good times. Great fucking times. It's over. It's over. Speak no, speak no uh, evil. Speak no evil. <laughs> Do you have, Damn. Are you working on bits or anything? Do you have? Uh, yeah, I got a bit that I thought was right, money right out of the pocket, but uh, it is bombing all day long. What do you got? So my buddy has a, a young daughter, and he's like, she's going through all these phases. She went through like a promiscuous slutty phase. And I was like, well, that's pretty normal. And then he's like, yeah, but now she's going through a Muslim phase. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, a lot of kids are being Muslim now. And I was like, well, that's better than slut. Because <laughs> slut is skimpy outfit, getting drunk, blowing a bunch of guys. Muslim is burqa, no alcohol, and getting down on your knees for Allah. Ooh. So I was like, I got I got an A to B here. This is perfect, and it's bombing everywhere, much like a Muslim. No, <laughs> but it's uh, it's dying on the on the vine. Damn. Is what? there anything there, you think? It's Maybe just, it it's so, no, it doesn't suck at all. It, Muslim phase is so weird. Yeah. It's, like, I had never even heard of it. Have you heard of this? 
It's coming. Maybe you have to like build it more. Chris in the beginning because they're like, yeah, I was like, so they just she. So did you ask more about? It? So she just acts like she's Muslim. Muslim hijab. So I did really? a blow job hijab line that got nothing. Uh, yeah, hijab, and I thought it was like appropriate. What, what religion was she born? I think a Catholic Christian kid. Hilarious. Yeah, I think it's cool to be Muslim now. That's fucking hilarious. I was like, we were just goth, you know. Yeah, I think kids, teens feel That's oppressed. A good and they're taking on the, the the outfits and the right. It's like black because you yes. act black yeah, yeah, in the nineties. Yeah. yeah, it's also like goth is a funny angle. Hippies, like we were there were hippies and there were goth. Now that's like now you want to fit in, you got to level up. You know. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's so fucking hard to be a parent now. I know. God. It's like your kids are. Uh, There's so many different fluid sexual things and. Now it's like, Mom, I'm, a, I'm a white boy. You know, that's <laughs> like, now you got to come out as white and they're like, oh, no. You know, that's it's no good. So funny to be like, Dad, you know I'm Muslim. It's like, no, you're not. Right. You're not actually Muslim. Yeah. I did hear a quote from a black guy. He said, uh, a woman converting to Islam is like a black person converting to slavery. Whoa. That's heavy. Yeah. Damn. Well, then another person was like, another comment was like, I think it's a solid... Bit, but people don't want to laugh at Muslim shit, uh, which I'm possible. like, ah, it's just a religion in my mind. But I think other people, there's a real problem I have. Other people have a, a problem with it, so they put their problem on me when I'm like, I'm just doing a bit. Does it hit for your crowd, or have you only done it like the seller and stuff? Uh, that's kind of the test for me nowadays. Right. I'm like, I'm like if, I, if it starts working for my crowd, I just have more. I just deliver with more confidence at the true, seller. True. True. But has it worked for your people? Why? Well, it's so new. I tried it in Mexico a little bit, and I tried it at, at New York Comedy Club, and it got weird. So I, I've only done it like twice or three times. I think there's something there. I like, think there's something about, there. Like, Muslim. Say, the setup is that you know, it's like it's easier. What's better than being a slut? Yeah. They're wearing tube tops and, you know, skimpy this and drinking and sneaking out and fucking random dudes that get pregnant, get STD. Why did, did he say why she decided to convert to being a Muslim? I think it's just, it's in the culture now. It's like in the zeitgeist. In Muslim. New York? Oh, uh, yeah. Jersey. But yeah. Jersey. Interesting. Yeah. And then there's something with 72 virgins, maybe. I could do something with that. Yeah, she's not getting laid anymore. She's a she's one of the virgins in the afterlife. I don't know. I don't know the angle for this one. So it's a it's such a weird premise. Maybe goth is better than slut. Goth is better than slut. No, I'm saying like maybe I should go with goth. Yeah, no, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Goth, but my day they were just goth. Right. So like, huh? So, uh, it used to be like fuck you, God. Now it's like uh, I love you, Allah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's something. Kids are just rebelling against whatever their parents hate. Right. So it's probably he hates this thing, and so your kid chose it. Mm -hmm. Might be funny if the dad's a Jew, and the and the kid oh, converts to Muslim. That's that's something. Fuck you, dad. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just thinking of angles in here. Right. Like you know, the girl whose dad is racist dates a black guy. Yeah. This girl is her dad's a Jew, so she's yeah going Muslim, huh? All right, well, I'll yeah, play we, with it. In my day that you just dated the person your parents didn't want you to date. Yeah. Now you're becoming them? Now you're converting. Yeah, that could be funny. Yeah. That's something, yeah. During COVID, she wore a mosque. <laughs> All right. Well, my mom is like, uh, you know, she'll say to me, like, first question with the women was like, is she Jewish? And I'm like, you know, now these kids are like, uh, is she have it, a penis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, it, is, is your boyfriend, uh, is your boyfriend, Muslim? Uh, yeah, and so am I now. Right. Or like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll my shit noodle. Is, my shit's either fucking garbage or... All right, hit me. Let me see what I got. Um, There's a few I just can't crack. Um, Man, I tried that uh, dinosaur chicken nuggets one the other night. Got some groans. Really? I have too many fucking, I, I think for like the comedy seller, my shit is, for my crowd, it's fine. But for when I do like the comedy seller, they're like, holy shit, that was dark. I know. Because you're going on after some of these guys who are just like, oh, shucks. And they're like pretending they're better people than they yeah, are. Yeah. And then I go on, I do like a Hitler or a pedo joke. And they're just like, what is this guy, a fucking monster? I'm like, no, that's fucking that's what you joke about. Yeah, it's a comedy club. Yeah. What, are you, what are you, should I just be rainbows and 
sunshine all day? No, we, I want some edge. We're supposed uh, to laugh at the dark shit, folks. That's what we're doing here. All these ideas. Dude, my problem with these are like they're either working or they're just shit. Mm. Um, Let's see if I have another. Is this anything? One of the worst parts of breakups is you have to just come up with new inside jokes. It's just like so much new material. Like Wait. You, with the new girl, oh, with the new yeah, girl. you're something they'll just recycle stuff from previous relationships. Oh. Be like, be like, hey, little lady, and she's like, I'm five ten. You know, I'm like, ah, shit. <laughs> and I need something like that. Yeah. I don't know where it's going, but yeah. like, you're doing old material. I'm doing old material. Yeah, I'm like, like, ah, I gotta come with a new fucking nickname. <laughs> right. That's funny. There's something maybe. Yeah, you're like Trump. You gotta have a nickname for every woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like, hey, what's up, comrade Michelle? She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Moody Michelle. <Yeah>. Moody. <laughs> Moody's my, fun for a lady. That's my favorite part. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Um, there was uh, something. Uh... I like the angle of got to come up with a new new material for the new girlfriend. Should I see what else I had? Um... Uh oh. Bad retention. Mr. Beast. He would hate this. What? Um. Silence. The silence. Oh, yeah, fuck silence that. Well, we're going through the. Uh, I'll give you a peeve while you're looking. Give me, give me a peeve. Oh, so please. I go to the uh, deli counter and I'm like, "Can I get a quarter pound of ham and a quarter pound of bologna?" And I was like, "Is that a lot, quarter pound?" And he's like, "I don't know what quarter pound was to you. It's like, is that a lot to you?" I was like, "I don't know. You do this every day." Yeah. Like you tell me, do people normally order a quarter pound? I don't. I don't know what a quarter pound of meat looks like. That's a good peeve. The the professional who doesn't who's asking you questions. Yeah, like how many servings? It's like this is like not that much food. Yeah, a quarter pound is not that much. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's that much. Okay. He knows what but it he is. He knows. He should say what you just said. Yeah. 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 Is, is it a lot to you? I was like, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, you. I'm not looking for a philosophical <laughs> lesson here. Right. Yeah. It's not a judgment call. Yeah. The, 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 I hate when you get in a cab or something. He's like. How do I get there? I'm like, you're the you're the guy. You're the driver. I got another one I want to try because this isn't hitting the way I want it. All right. And I have an Uber bit that's hitting really hard right now. All I right. Add to it because I had an ex who would be like, we got into a car once. We got into an Uber and it smelled like horrible, like so bad. And I just went, oh, wow. And we got out. She goes, you cannot make that sound. I go, but he can make that smell? <laughs> that's unacceptable. It, was all, it smelled so fucking bad in there. And she goes, let me see your Uber rating. So I, I pull it out and she goes, just as I suspected, 4.53. And I was like, all right, I don't, yeah, I guess. That's I, fresh. You know, I speak my mind. You yeah. Know, it's fine, whatever. And I say, all right, let me see yours. She had a 4.32. Oh. So I wanted to think, well, I was like, all right. So by the way, you're pretty. This is your personality that's doing this. Oh, like, oh like, that's good. You're that, yeah. That's good. That's you're, good. You're that fucking rude to drivers. I did once when it was a bad smell. Wow. That's good. But I but the line that didn't hit, I thought could be something as she goes, uh, that's that's not a big difference. I go, point two is the difference between a gold medalist and someone who doesn't place. Oh. But then I say, that doesn't hit. So I need a different out. I need a different fucking... Uh, Damn, gold medalist, I like. I like it too, but it's just too... I think it's too much of a leap. Right. But the part did pop where I say, you're you're attractive, this is your personality. What, what if you shit on yourself and you're like, well, point two would help me a lot or help you a lot in bed. You know, like you. If, oh yeah, yeah. If point. your dick was point two funny. inches longer, because now you're making fun of you a little, and she's I like, like that, "That would be better." Good point. Yeah, point two. Yeah. Yeah, but does but point two isn't two. That's inches. true. It's not. Yeah. Point. Uh, you know, what you could say is uh, this is just a side sideline, but you'd be like, "Hey, four point five. That's fresh. Unlike him. <laughs> Unlike funny. the driver. <laughs> that's fresh. Do people know Rotten Tomatoes enough? Yeah, I think you're looping. Yeah, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm reaching. On Rotten Tomatoes, that's fresh, unlike him. Yeah, yeah that would be fresh. Yeah. She's uh... I had a I had an old joke similar to this, but I could never get it to work. And I had a lady yell at me because I was like, oh, dude, this you smell horrible. And she was like, hey, that's their culture. And I was like, yeah, but it's American culture to shit on people who stink. Yeah. You know? It's a tough sell because I hate when people shit on, like, it's like, oh, you know, you should. I, I hate what I'm doing a little bit in this. Trip. Right, like, right. When people shit on like a smelly cabbie, I'm like, yeah, it's uh, so fucking annoying. But the guy probably did like a 26 hour True. Shift, so I do feel a little bit. But then, uh, but then I like the joke enough that I was like, eh, who gives a shit? Yeah. And, you and you're not being mean. You're going, ah. Oh, I just went, wow. I don't, yeah. It's not mean. It's not Did like, you make fuck it a fart? 
What? Could you make it a fart? Mm. So he farted instead of it's his body odor? I kind of like less that offensive. it just smells like shit. I do too, but like to make it less offensive. No, that part the... hits though. But that part oh, okay. does hit. I, I just think, yeah, it's about the, uh, where do you go from there? I, I'll brainstorm a little bit. It's it's close. To the, it also goes off another bit. So it kind of, it's like the ball's in the air, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're. I like that. Uh, there's another Uber bit that hits real hard before that. But man, it's fucking crazy. Uh, what you? Th- what I, I'm, the more I get older, I'm like, man. I think you have a similar thing that I have, where like our jokes kind of go up to the line of what is not socially acceptable. <laughs> so the tinkering, like sometimes it's just one word that yes. saves it. Sometimes it's a build up. Sometimes I'll yes. do a joke is like a one liner, and it just comes off as too mean. But if I build up and build up and then do the same joke, it's like I'm adding fat to a joke. To save the joke. Yes. You know, it's Yes, like, for them. Yeah. You're crowded, it's fine. But if you're the seller, you got to pad it a little more, I think. But then, you, but then you find out sometimes when you pad it for your crowd, they're like, it, it builds it a little more and the release is bigger. That's true. That's so true. It, but you, yeah, but like we were just, in our stand up, I think we're so conscious oh, yeah. of, of not adding fat. Like, yes. We, we like the idea of how fucking dense uh, our it, stuff is. Yeah, nice and tight. Yeah. But you're right, that tinkering is crucial. Just a little twist this way or that way, and then it's offensive or it doesn't work or whatever. Yeah. I think I think you got something. Got, I'll, I'll play. I'll try it at the cellar tonight. Even, what if you go uh, point two? All right, well, what if I got your age wrong by point two or something, you know? like problem with point two is it's not like... It's it, not a lot. It, it's, it's Yeah, it's also like, what is that, two months or something? You know what I mean? That's the only issue. It's like That's why I like gold medal. That's a perfect... I liked it, Perfect yeah. analogy, but yeah. If it didn't work. Maybe I'll try it again. Shit. I think you'd have to make her rating way lower, like a two. But yeah, but no one's gonna. And then you say, that. "Oh, you're two, two, two points off," and then two points you can. Yeah, that's a lot. That's like two inches. Yeah, that's like two inches. Point yeah, if you make two. her a little more off, I think you're safe. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Double point. Yeah. Point two seconds could save your life if you're drowning. Whatever it is, you know. Yeah. That's funny. You gotta open your chute and point two, or else you're dead. I don't know. It's close. It's oh, close. Point two. I think you. I think you open it up a little more to make it a, a bigger gap between the scores or the ratings. Yeah, I'm gonna play with it. Good call. Good shit, guys. What? All right, you, you, who has that funny joke where they're like, uh, "I got into a cab the other day today. The guy smelled like shit." Somebody goes, "Whoa, that's racist!" And you're like, "It was a white guy." Oh shit! Wow. Yeah, that's a good job. Somebody has that. And I was like, "Oh, I wish I had that joke." That's fucking great. That's great. Wait, when does this come out, Matt? So I guess I'll be Oslo. Ah, uh, yeah. He just saw me in Oslo, uh, Damn. Stockholm. Just added Spokane, uh, Spokane, Washington, October twenty fourth through twenty sixth. I'll be with little Gary. You know he's gonna make me pay, and then I'll be in. Uh, November 21st through 23rd, I'll be in Cleveland at Hilarities, another great club, and I'll, I'll add a few more before we do a big announce. I'll, I'll probably, by the way, I probably would have announced the theater tour by now, so go to my Instagram. Uh, I, I would think I've announced the theater tour by now, so wow. I'm probably coming to your city, uh, punchup.live slash samurel, or, or just samurel.com, and go to punchup.live slash Mark Norman, or, or Mar- it's Mark Norman Comedy. Uh, MarkNormanComedy.com. dot com. But Punch yeah. Up is just my name. Yeah, Punch Up. dot live slash Mark Norman. Mark, where, where are you going? Oh, one man? second. Ma- Sam also just dropped his last special on Punch Up Live. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, now it's going to be on YouTube. I'm going to move it to YouTube. Okay. That's yeah, a lot yeah. of YouTube content you got. Yeah, you just got to get our stuff. It's cool to own our shit. Hell yeah! All right, you'll love get, it. You'll get yours back. Yeah, can't wait. I sold mine to Hulu. Did you? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, get a couple extra bucks, throw it on Hulu, and it's on YouTube, so fuck it, let it ride. Fort Lauderdale, coming at you, Portland, Oregon, London, Ontario, Toronto, we had a show doing the Rogue Island Comedy Fest, uh, Monterey, California, Oakland, Winnipeg, Edmonton, Cleveland, Hilarities, Good Club, Fayetteville, Wichita, Kalamazoo, Chicago Theater, come on, Larry David. Pick uh, Poughkeepsie, Torrington, Connecticut, uh, North Charleston, South Carolina, and uh, Asheville, Nola, Wilkes-Barre, and Inglewood, New Jersey. So, yeah, come on out, folks. We'd love to have you. Get some Bodega Cat. We got the hot new bottle looking sexy, strong, and, uh, yeah, 
Patreon. We'll see you in hell. Sunday's the day for my next offender. A bit of Pivarek, you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon. And Norman's talking shit about the fucking Pope. And I get down in the same way. Up on the roof like a cop's coming. And naked Samuel is feeling dangerous. I'm out to lunch here in New Orleans. This woman doesn't look like I remember.